I think that's it then. We have no more quests left for the EX quest, and we got we, we completed all the challenges, we completed all the uh, other things, so yeah, I guess that's it for the um we, we haven't tried Apop Apocalypse difficulty, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Maybe maybe the next time DLC comes around, I'll try doing Apocalypse Apocalypse uh, difficulty a little bit. Didn't quite get on the A9, but that's fine. Cost takes a lot of rupees to do that. Okay, so uh, we're about done here. I just want to go over a little bit here because. So uh, let's take a look at the next DLC pack. Okay, so Wave 2 will bring new character vignettes, add stages, an expanded roster, and new battle skills with existing characters. No idea what the battle skills mean, but for character vignettes, that's more than likely uh, a new form of like a main story chapter, but uh, vignettes are probably short stories based on sick character storylines. So whatever that is, I'm not sure, but um, presumably you'd think the new characters they introduce will probably relate to that. And here's another thing too. Yeah, there's a mission here called EX Conquering Hyrule. And it's not locked to just Koga and Kalani Ganon, but they're the only characters who are able to be selected here. Which tells me that more than likely you're going to be able to unlock, uh, or at the very least, we're going to be getting uh, Soga and um, Astor too. Because why else would you? they have this mission here that locks it to villains, but even though it's locked to villains, it's not actually locking it, per se, because there are missions that lock it to certain characters. Um, yeah, that that's just Unobo, for example. There's no one that's just Koga. That one is uh, limited to Koga and one other ally. That's limited as Koga. Yeah, so it, it shows that these things are locked to characters, but this one isn't for some reason. It doesn't make any sense because you only have two characters to put in here. So more than likely, I think we're going to be seeing Astor and uh, Soga. And if you choose them, they'll swap in and out in, in this mission. Um, because this mission features Koga, Ganon, Soga, and Astor all attacking Howard Castle. I think you can argue that this... Battle's kind of supposed to re be reminiscent of um, the final. It's supposed to kind of reflect the idea of the final battle against uh, uh, Howard Castle, even though it's not actually the case because obviously. But still, it's supposed to kind of re reflect the idea. It features all the all the main characters and be basically killing them. So this is the close close we might see to a uh, antagonist, I think, unless they have a few uh, vignettes for Astor or Soga. Like, they, they could have an, a, a vignette that shows how so Soga escaped, how Astor found Harjigan, etc. I don't know if we'll see Harjigan, though, because... I mean, if he could be an ally, but I'm not, I don't think we'll... Personally, I don't think we'll get Harjigan as playable, because he was not in this mission. Um, so I think they're just gonna stick with Har Harjigan, uh, Harjigan again as being Harjigan. They're not really gonna reflect that any further. I think we're gonna, we're gonna get Soga and Astor. And um, the question is, how many characters we can get? I think we're get at least three or four, or at least three, maybe four. Um, and you think, it's you. are we get Robbie and Pira? I don't know. Like they got went through. It. If they're we're gonna get them, I think it would have been this update. But this update's like all about them, and nothing's going on here. Like they're 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 doing all the storylines stuff in here with the um, expanding your roster, selection, and everything, getting the Balthus Guardian, all that kind of thing. This whole this whole thing here, the, the EX World Lab, the way this works, I feel like if they're going to be playable, they wouldn't be playable here, and they're not. It's possible we still get them. Um, it's possible we still get them, but I'm kind of not, I'm kind of leaning on it not happening. But if we do get them, that's that's fine, I guess. The, the other question is, if there's more than one, two characters, and it's just, it's not just uh, Ganon and Koga, who could also be? I don't really know. I, I, I would like to see 
I would like to see them introduce a, a character or two from older games that didn't make the cut in Hyrule Warriors. I don't see that happening, personally. At this point in time, I, you think they've done it by now. So I don't think that's going to happen at this point in time. But maybe we, we will get lucky and see like a see something like that. I don't know. Last thing we have is um, a couple you know, more characters from Breath of the Wild or something. Maybe we could see... Um, maybe we could see Cass... I don't know though, because that, that kind of, that kind of uh, adjust that kind of messes with the balance of, char of characters with by adding three having three Rito then, and I just don't know if they, they want to do that because they, they they I think there's a reason why they haven't done well I think one one big reason they haven't done um I think one biggest reason they haven't done Robin Pierre yet is because yes. they don't want to have so many Shika compared to all the other other races, so they they just have um. Uh, so if you if you count this Yiga separately, because Yiga technically has split from the, the Shika, let's say we get um, let's say we get going get Soga, then we have two Yiga and two Shika because we also have um, we we also of course have Maz Koshi, who's a, who's a, a Shika monk. So Maz Koshia and Impa, Master Koga, and we have also two robots too with the Balthus Guardian Terrico. and then um, I guess. Aster would be another Hylian, which isn't a big deal because Hylians are you know, pretty common. But yeah, I mean, that kind of, that's the only thing I think of at this point in time is just uh, getting all that. And then there's one other possibility, and that's, um, you know, other than Cass, I don't think we'll get anyone anyone from the future time other than Cass. I don't think we'll, we'll get, um, I don't think we'll get Kilton. I don't think we'll get, like, Beetle or anything. I think we like, there's a small chance of cast, but I don't think we're gonna get him at this point in time. But the small chance of cast, small chance of um, Robbie and Pira. I don't think we're getting them though, personally at this point in time. But it's still possible in theory. Um, so what else can we get? I'm going to say, um, maybe we'll see Ganondorf. Of course, the uh, uh, maybe we'll see Ganondorf based on. Breath of the Wild 2, you know, we, we, we see a brief glimpse of him, we don't know how he works, but maybe maybe they'll, they'll be allowed to use him and be a little bit creative with how he works. Um, so maybe we'll be able to get Gandorf and perhaps they'll even have an Alter Costa that's his his old design, his uh, past design, as well as his corpse design, who knows, or maybe it'll just be the corpse. That might be more like it's just the corpse. In fact, they could actually have a story story chapter or a big net set after the events of Age of Calamity. Where they finally go into the Tower Castle and find Gandorf, so they they could do that, uh, because even after defeating Clan again, he's still there. He's still in the Tower Castle, so in theory, they could have that in this timeline, and so you actually get Gandorf in this timeline. That'd be my my possible guess for a third character if we're if, if we're not getting um, Harbor Dragon in. Uh, I don't think we're getting Cass. I'm, I'm leaning against Har Robin Pierre, but it's still entirely possible to get Soga. Um, Aster, Robbie, and Pira. It's, that's possible. Okay, now, the, here's another thing, too. This this bit thing did not mention any new stages, but technically they did add the Forgotten Temple. It's only two rooms, and there's only two missions on it, so it's not that major, but still, they did add the Forgotten Temple. So the question is, could they add more? Um, there's let, Let's take a look at some options here, because um, if they explore some other areas, where exactly would... um. Like, for, okay, let's say we get Astor. Where would Astor come from? He, he would have to seek out and find where, wherever um, Harbinger is. He would have to find Harbinger. Like, where did where, he originate from? Um, the best get, like, maybe he came from, like, Lurana or something. Um, so if that's the case, we could maybe we could have a stage down this area around this temple down here. Maybe that's where uh, he found that ore or something. Um, see, the only stage in this area right now is Demel Forest. But it would be interesting if we, we saw, got something around the beach area, uh, or this grasslands area. We basically got the entire desert because we, we got most of the desert here, and we got the this area. I would like to see like for maybe I don't think we'll get it, but I would love to see uh, the Gruhans way up here where the um, uh, the, the sword is. That would be pretty neat if if, if we got this area top the highlands. But I don't expect that because there's nothing important up there. Um, one that could be possible though is uh. Uh, see that that's called Tibet the front the the frontier. I was thinking maybe the ancient columns down here. Maybe we can see the ancient columns in this area. So we already did get um Hyrule Ridge, which covers this area. So I think I don't think we'll get anything down there. Um maybe this forest over here in the um 
Yeah, maybe maybe it could be this forest could be another one, but I don't know. That, that that one's not that important either. Um, we basically got all of Death Mountain areas. So I don't think we another one we could do Deep Akala. There's nothing in this area. And maybe we can have the um, uh, including this area down here, uh, and uh, like basically basically have it around this section. So it'll be the shrine of, the shrine of power and down here. It could be based around the, the Shrine of Power area, call it Deep Akala, and uh, we can have a, an event where um, you get to protect Zelda at the Shrine, the shrine of Power. Another one, another good one, uh, will be be able to uh, recreate the Mount Lanero event where uh, you go out to Mount Lanero and everything and, and get attacked on the way down. Because um, in, in, in the Age of Climate, she didn't actually ever go that way. So it would be neat if we had that. Another possibility could be Kakrio Village, but there's a, still a lot in this area, so maybe not that area. Uh, I would like to see like either this this area down here, like the the, the uh, Lenaro Promenade area with um uh, the snow fields or Mount Lanier itself. Like it could just be the snow fields, and you don't actually do it up here. You do it in the snow fields, and you you, you fight monsters down there. Well, before she gets to the Mount Lanier. Um, I can't really think of too much else we could do for for uh, big nets or storylines for the introduce new stages. It's hard to say. It would have to be an important area. Maybe if we do get the idea of, that, of Gandorf, maybe we can get the underground area um, beneath the, uh, here. And it'll be based heavily on the trailers for Breath of Wild 2. That could be neat. Um, yeah, it's hard to say, though. I don't even know if we're going to do that or not. Um, yeah, so that's just kind of my thoughts on here. I don't really know what we're, go what we're going with. But I'm pretty sure it's mostly going to stick to characters we already know about. Um from Breath of the Wild area. So Breath of the Wild, uh, Breath of the Wild, uh, maybe uh, again for Breath of the Wild 2, but other than that, I don't think we're going to see anything else beyond that. Uh, so what else? Add stages, expand, okay, so yeah, I basically, we basically covered everything. Um, yeah, so for big nets, mostly I can think of is um, uh, storylines revolving around Astor and uh, Soga, uh, storylines revolving around the maybe the real events of the Calamity, so we can actually see those, those chapters. This one kind of resembles one of them, where a uh, conquering Hyrule. But maybe we can have a proper one with Zelda, where Zelda is aided by the spirits of champions, and the champions get costumes based on their spiritual forms too. And get and um, so basically, Zelda is going out, going to Hyrule Castle on her own. Uh, but if if there is a mission with um, if if we do get Robbie and Pira, they could do a couple things. First of all, we could have the ancient land itself as as a, as a stage. But I find it more likely if they're going to escape, they're going to be they're going to escape to um. Uh, here on their own, but we it's still we need to if they, they they create the ancient lab and have this area as a stage right north of um, uh, Breach of Demise, that'd be cool, but I don't expect it. I don't know where like I would love to see something on, Mount, on Hyper Mountain too, but I just don't like know what where we go there. Um, I don't really see a reason why why we need to go go up to Hyper Mountain. Maybe the only, the only chance for another snow stage is Mountain Lanero. That's probably the best option is Mountain Lanero. I can't really think of another, another volcano stage. Well, we, we actually technically have two volcano stages because uh, uh, this one, uh, Lanero Wetlands, it's actually more this area. It's more Elden Canyon than anything because it's mostly the Elden Canyon area. There's even lava at the top too. So there, there's lava flows and everything in that level. And of course, we also have um, uh, the Death Mountain stage, which is just this entire area. It, 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 that, that covers the entire Goron Mountain region, so there's not much else you can do there. So I think it's mostly Deepakala, Mount Lanero, just to cover those remaining shrines. The Ancient Columns would be a good option, because uh, maybe it's, you, you, they recreate the event where Zelda visits the shrine here. I can't really think of any reason to go up on top of Heaven Mountain. There's also the possibility of the the grasslands area, I guess. I don't, I don't see a reason for that actually, but I would like to see that like, maybe maybe Village Wing, or even another one. Maybe you can, maybe you have to defend uh, Hot Tail Village. That's what I think I was thinking about. Uh, sorry, that's what that's something I forgot about too. What another possible character that that we could get is Link's sister. 
So Link's sister is actually in concept art for Breath of the Wild. Now, and if if they do go with the idea of of uh, Link and uh, of Link's family coming from Hotel Village, we they could introduce that and have her defending Hotel Village from monsters from monsters something like that. Um, that's that's somewhat possible, but I don't. I kind of don't expect it, but that's somewhat possible because uh, they they did base some character designs on concept art, like Robbie and Pira. They based that they based their younger designs on concept art, so that's that's another possibility too.